Hey Globy, today we're gonna talk about the planet Mars. One day NASA hopes to send astronauts to Mars, so it's really important that we learn as much as we can about the red planet. Its nickname is the Red Planet because that's exactly what it looks like, red. Mars is not the closest planet to Earth. It is still more than 56 million kilometers away even when it's closest to us. Mars is only about half the size of our planet, but it has lots of large craters on its surface like our moon does. It also has volcanoes and deserts and polar regions like Earth. Mars even has seasons. NASA has been researching Mars for a long time. In 1964, NASA sent the Mariner 4 satellite to Mars. It flew by the planet and gathered information. Then in 1974, NASA sent two different landers to Mars that were part of the Viking program. Both of these landers made it to the surface of Mars and sent important information back to NASA scientists on Earth. The most recent mission to Mars was NASA's Phoenix Mars Lander. The Phoenix mission was launched on August 4, 2007 and arrived at the North Pole region of Mars on May 25, 2008. Wow! The lander took almost 10 months to get to Mars. It really is a long way to our closest neighbor in space. Phoenix has a robotic arm that can dig into the surface of the planet. And you know what they found just below the surface? Water ice! That was very exciting for the scientists to discover. One of NASA's proposed missions to Mars is the ARES program. ARES is an acronym. It stands for Aerial Regional Scale Environmental Surveyor of Mars. Ares is also the name of the Greek god of war. The name Mars is named after the Roman god of war. The planet has long had the image of being related to war because of its red color, like the color of blood. But the color really comes from the iron-rich minerals in the soil on Mars. Some people refer to the Ares program as the Mars airplane, because that's exactly what it is, an airplane. Only the Mars airplane doesn't have pilots. It'll be completely robotic. Dr. Joel Levine is the lead scientist and principal investigator for the ARES project at NASA's Langley Research Center. ARES is a proposed mission to fly a robotic, rocket-powered airplane about a mile above the surface of Mars, and ARES will cover thousands of miles. Now some of you may be wondering, how's NASA going to get an airplane to Mars? They're not actually going to fly it to the planet like a traditional airplane flies through the sky. The Ares plane will be wrapped in a protective aero shell, like an egg, for its journey to Mars. The aero shell will be placed on a Delta rocket that will get launched into space. The rocket will carry the aero shell all the way to Mars. Once the shell reaches the Mars atmosphere, a parachute will be ejected to slow the shell down. Then the shell will open up, and the Mars airplane will unfold its wings and begin to fly across Mars. Pretty cool, huh? The Mars airplane is very different than an orbiter or a rover. An orbiter is a satellite that orbits or moves around the planet in a circle way above the planet's surface. A rover is a robot that can move across the surface of the planet or moon, going from one place to another to collect new information. NASA has sent several rovers to Mars, including Sojourner, Spirit, and Opportunity. A lander is a special machine that actually lands on the surface and stays in the place where it lands. It collects soil samples or takes pictures or temperature readings of that place. Both an orbiter and a rover give NASA scientists valuable information, but an airplane, like Ares, can do things that an orbiter and a rover can't. For example, on a rover, if it travels 20 miles during its whole lifetime, or 30 miles across the surface, maybe you're not in an area where there are living systems. Ares, because it can fly thousands of miles and make these measurements, will cover a very large area of Mars. Now, an orbiter covers the whole planet, gives you global, global coverage, but you're so far away Scientists have long wondered if life exists on Mars now or in the distant past. The Mars airplane will help answer that fascinating question. Now, I don't think there are people living on Mars or elephants or giraffes, 
but there may be microorganisms below the surface of Mars. And these microorganisms give off a variety of gases, methane, ammonia, nitrous oxide, and we're going to look for those gases in the atmosphere as Aries flies with a very, very sensitive instrument called a mass spectrometer. Another cool thing about Ares is that it has a video camera on board that will send amazing video images of Mars back to scientists on Earth. As we fly through the surface of Mars, we will transmit these images back to Earth in real time, and we will play them on television so that the world will fly with us. It will be very, very exciting. Wow, Globy, Ares is an amazing airplane that's going to help our scientists learn a lot more about Mars for our astronauts' eventual journey to the Red Planet. I think it's gonna be so cool for the airplane's wings to unfold and begin soaring across the surface of Mars. Hey, that gives me an idea. What do you say we go fly our own airplanes? I bet mine goes farthest. <laughs>